In this video, we are going to continue with nature of roots, a combination of a straight line and a curve. You will find this on page 31 in the Namibia A is level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Two graphs do not intersect. Okay, so in the previous video, it was first um, just a tangent and then it was cutting in two distinct points and now it's do not intersect. So our line has an equation this and the curve has the equation this. We we'll see is a constant. Find the set of values of C for which the line does not intersect the curve. So first you're going to form a quadratic equation by substituting the straight line equation into the equation of the curve. And that's what I did there. Then I arrange it that I have x squared, x and without an x. And now, if they do not, if the straight line does not intersect the curve, then the discriminant will be smaller than zero. So the discriminant is smaller than zero. So if I'm working this out, then I'm just going to say this square minus 4ac, I work out, and do you notice, this is a linear inequality. So that's actually very easy. I divide 4, divide 4, and then I can just swap it around. I didn't divide by a negative, and that's why the signs stay the same there. Can you see? Uh, but then I just swap the two sides. Okay. It's just always important to check whether the inequality is bigger, bigger and smaller or smaller. So just for that equal signs. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number 3. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number three. Find the zeta values of k for which the curve and the line do not meet. So, the first thing is I must make it one equation. And how do I do that? Let's call this one, two. I can just say substitute two into one, or one into two. It doesn't matter because there's y, so I just substitute uh, two into one into, so then it will be like x minus k is equal to k squared, no, k x squared minus 3x. Okay, and if I simplify this, so I'm going to get Okay, now if the discriminant do not meet, it's smaller than zero. Okay, so don't forget that this is A, this is B, and this is C. Because the discriminant is B squared minus 4AC is smaller than zero. So B squared, it's negative 4 squared minus 4A C, so that will be 16 minus 4, K squared is smaller than 0. Okay, now, now, take note. This, and I'm even going to write it here, is a quadratic inequality. So I'm going to make use of a sketch. So first, Let's start. You can rearrange it also, but this is the value of A. So if I'm looking at this, <clears throat> I'm just going to say <clears throat> A is sorry, A is smaller than zero. So therefore, it's it's a, like this. It's not not happy. So it's having a maximum point. So therefore, maximum point. Okay, and now I'm going to go on and I'm going to say sketch the graph of mm, 
y is equal to, I'm just going to put it like this, doesn't matter actually. Okay, and now I'm going to get my x-intercepts then y is 0. So I'm going to have 0 and now I can basically just take this over I divide by 4 So k squared is equal to 4. So therefore, k, it's the square root, but don't forget, it's plus minus 2. Okay, and if I make now a sketch, <coughs> and I'm going to write that 2, this negative 2, this 2. Now don't forget the sketch looks like this. I just want to take another color. Mm, that's a bit symmetrical. Okay, and now I look back at the inequality. Now what was the, it's smaller. Do you see smaller? So where will be the smaller? Let's just take a highlighter. It's below the x-axis. So and it's not, so it's open. Mm, I want to rather take a pen. And pen, open to this side. Open to this side. So therefore, okay, I don't have to know, they say find the set of values. So I, I don't have to make a number line. So I say therefore, k is smaller than negative 2 or k is bigger than 4, ah, than 2. Okay, and no equal sign because there was not an equal sign there in the original. I don't know where that, maybe I just highlighted something there, but there was not an equal sign. Okay, so k is smaller than negative 2 or k is bigger than 2 and that's the answer.